There was a recommendation from one of the viewers in the M14 video, the Ace 31. And I remember that when I was going after the Ace back then in season two, this gun brought me luck on lockdown farm. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up again and then give it a try and then see how it works. So my idea was to come up with a weapon build, which is relatively cheap, but I wanted to test the gun on farm. So I attached the 4X scope, which like in overall, made the gun more expensive and every single attachment and piece of the gun is a bit more expensive compared to like the mp5 or the aks 74 anyways i was a bit hesitant when i entered the farm especially because i hopped to the training ground and i wanted to check the vertical recoil <laughs> and i'm not satisfied so even if you have a front grip with the 4x scope this gun is not gonna work it's almost like an FAR, but it's not as strong as an FAR. For 50k or for 45k, you can actually put together a decent FAR or eventually an M4. But anyways, let's not stop here because there is more. So on farm, I felt like it's a dead lobby. I don't know why, but I didn't actually meet players and it was locked on version, so it wasn't like normal farm. And uh, in Trade Center, I had one kill, which was, I think, like the quick zoom type of search for the head and then quickly shoot type of kill which was actually pretty good but i didn't feel confident with this gun so i felt like inside oh my god thanks for the kill i'm so happy that i'm not dead and then i moved from trade center to motel again it was relatively empty so i didn't face too many players and then then it happened this gun actually brought me luck i had that universal key which i used on the main guest room and there was nothing in the safes but there was a vase in the corner of the room so it brought me close to 500,000 coin in the first game and i started thinking on what to do with the recoil and i felt like that regardless of how i modify the gun it's not gonna significantly boost the vertical recoil number which means that the gun is gonna remain bad with the 4x zoom so what I did, I replaced the 4x zoom with the 1x zoom and then entered port because on port we don't necessarily need a 4x zoom. And I was actually right, with the 1x zoom it went much better, it was much smoother, I could control my gun and I felt like that I'm gonna be okay against players, the bots and the scaffs, it's gonna be alright. And actually during the game I had two kills. And then again, this gun, the Ace 31, brought me luck because in one of the random cases, I found a gold cube, which is pretty rare on normal port. Anyways, maybe this gun comes with like a luck spell or luck blessing. And basically you find better loot if you run this gun. At least this is what happened to me, but I still think that the gun is bad. And instead of trying to use one of the like regular extractions, I went for the canal extraction on purpose. I felt like that I need to risk it because I don't have good enough loot. And even if I die, I don't mind. And actually I was right. There was a guy standing on top of the boxes who killed me. He surprised me so much that I, I literally didn't shoot him. But it doesn't change anything I said about the gun. Even if I would have killed that guy, it would have not been because of the gun itself. So the only thing that is remaining is that you leave me feedback on what you think about the Ace 31. I would be very surprised if you say that this is your favorite gun. If that's the case, then tell me why. What I'm gonna do is that whenever I found an Ace 31 and if there is nothing better I can pick up, I'm gonna put it into my bag and then after extracting, I'm gonna sell it to the market. I'm not gonna play this gun. So my recommendation is that you shouldn't either. It's not a good gun. Thanks for your attention. Happy hunting. Shoot, loot, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Cheerio. Bye.